Welcome to the UPoker Academy Poker Lecture Series designed to make you a better poker player. It's going to be another video in our Heads Up series. We're playing a Heads Up Sit and Go now uh, against a player we've never played against before, so we're going to try to figure him out. So we're going to be raising all of our buttons until he gives us a reason not to, and we're going to be c-betting all the flops until he gives us a reason not to. Normally I c-bet half pot on very dry boards, I c-bet three quarter spot, so I'm going to go on and c-bet a little more. We get check raised and we just get off it. just called his button. The bottom pair is no good here. We're going to check and fold did he bet. He overbet the pot. Um, either that's a 10 or it's a big mistake and we're going to try to figure out whether uh, which one it is as the tournament goes on. So we've been min re raised, that's a big mistake. We're going to call that with 100% of our hands. And we've got a great hand uh, now, so we are going to raise when he bets. Actually, he's been playing pretty aggressively. So if he'd bet, I probably would have flat called and, and raised the turn. So if he's going to be raising four times the big blind, ace seven is not the kind of hand we want to defend with. Sure, it, it wins great in heads up poker when you're all in, but most of the time we're going to miss the flop. We're not going to catch the ace or the seven. We're not going to really have anything to do but check and fold. So if he keeps raising like that, it's actually going to be a real opportunity to... Oh, he's, he's just spewing money now. If, we, if he keeps raising like that, we're going to three bet him pretty often. So now that he's checked us, we have to bet again. Uh, this time he calls instead of folds, uh, so we are going to check this down, maybe catch an 8 on the river. So we got the 9, doesn't help us much. We are going to be checking and folding this. So it does seem to be relatively aggressive. Um, that's never a good thing to see in an opponent at heads up poker. Aggressive players are the hardest to beat, but it is possible. Hey, and the way we're going to do that, now that we're at about the right stack size, is uh, we are going to be three betting him pretty hard pre-flop. So we've raised with the tens. We hope to get three bet like you did the last two hands. This time he offs to just call, but we do flop a great hand. So we are going to go out and bet. And he is going to play with us. So great result for us. We're not afraid of that three at all. We're expecting him to have the nine, so we are just going to keep going and keep betting him. And we do get jammed on. He doesn't have anything, and we take down a, a gigantic pot. So definitely an aggressive, bluffy player. Um, we're going to need good hands to, to go up against him, but we're going to get him often enough, and we're going to take a lot of money off of him. <clears throat> So we're going to go on and continue our strategy of raising. Um, you know, we're getting one to four. We have to call this. Uh, we don't hit anything, so not the best flop for us. We might have had value in a raise there, but that's not what we're looking to make our money, so we're not going to do it. What we have to be afraid of here is A, getting stacked with something like second pair when he's got a good hand and he's not bluffing anymore, and B, allowing him to chip his way back up through bluffs. So we are going to go in and c-bet this, though we do risk the check raise. We do have enough out to justify a c-bet. So if he raises here, we're going to jam. He might call, he might fold. We're going to see what he calls with. So he calls with the king nine. It's not an awful call. 
Um, so we do get stacked here. But the reason we're jamming there is because we expect him to have a hand like 6-3 or queen-4 that he's going to fold to a re-raise. Um, this time he had the, uh, the really good hand. Not the best flop for us, but we do have to go in and see bet it. And this time we're going to give it away. So it looks like he's catching us with his raises when we don't have anything. And unfortunately, when we do have stuff, he's not raising. Um, that's just variance. That doesn't mean we're playing bad. So here's going to be another time to jam. And we've got a great hand. We get in against ace-jack. We're ahead. We're 55%. And we do take it down. So if we can keep putting it in with pocket pairs against overcards and, and weak hands, um, then we're going to win a lot of money off this guy. So we've got the ace-jack. We're going to raise... This time he's not going to jam, uh, but we do flop the two aces. This is the time, well, I was going to say this is the time to check. In this case, he does go all in. He has deuce four, and we are going to win the game. Let's see if we can get a rematch. Unfortunately, he's not going to play us again, so we're going to end this video there. That's a great video, uh, look at how to deal with aggressive players, so I'm going to label it as such on YouTube. Thank you for joining us here at YouPoker Academy. Please check us out on riskoriented.com. For more poker strategy delivered directly to your YouTube account, please like us and subscribe to it. And for more poker strategy right now, continue on to our next poker lecture by Killer King here.